Ladies and gentlemen, the cat. No, I'm just kidding. I, I was going to show you the 3060 Ti from NVIDIA itself. It is also known as a Founders Edition, which has landed on the market a few years ago. And unlike its predecessor 2080 Ti, it did not shake the world as much as we thought it would. And that can be very easily explained just by looking at the core itself. Given the fact that the nanometers aren't getting any smaller, just by looking at the core can tell you a lot about it. That's why she says, size doesn't matter. Big or small, they all seem to die one way or another, and this 3060 Ti is no exception. Hello Internet. Today we have this 30T <laughs> Hello Internet. Today we have this 3060 Ti that came in for repair with a fan and overheating issues. Let's power it on and see what's going on. Looks like the fan on the left is not working, which explains the overheating. And if we were to boot into Windows and take a peek at the GPU sensors tab, it is clear that the core is telling the fan to spin at any given percentage, but the RPM reads zero, which makes perfect sense because the fan is not spinning. Let's take this thing apart and see if we can find what's wrong. Being lazy not wanting to take this card apart completely, I decided to compare both fan connectors for voltage drop and uh, with the cables disconnected and measuring every pin and comparing it to the other connector, I didn't see anything obvious. So it was time for the oscilloscope. Using an oscilloscope, we can test for wave signals on two main points of interest. PWM pin and the tachometer. We're gonna call it an RPM. PWM is what tells the fan how often it should connect to 12 volt thus regulating its speed by adjusting the frequency of that connection. And the RPM pin is the fan reporting its RPM basically. PWM pin shows expected signal, which is basically on and off sequence. And the RPM pin is reflecting the fan's RPM. Tighter the waves, faster the spin. Okay, now let's switch to a non-working end and compare the result. PVM is a flat line, meaning the GPU is unable to communicate to the fan for some reasons. A lot of times for such behavior is a faulty circuit inside the core itself, and a fix for this problem would be to reroute PVM signal from a working fan. But let's not get ahead of ourselves just yet, and let's take a look around first. Since this is a Founders Edition, schematics and board view files are not available, thanks NVIDIA it can be difficult to trace what goes where. I don't see any circuits around the non-working fan connector, but there are some around the working one. And upon closer examination, I think we found our problem. To verify that this is the component that failed, I will test its output pin and see if it makes its way all the way to the connector. And it looks like we have a match. Let's go a step further and see if it makes any sense to repair this by measuring the input pins in relationship to either ground, VCC or the output. Looks like the input is not shorted to any of them and the chances for repair is high. So let's replace this component and see if that helps. To make that job easier, I will place the board on the motherboard standoff pins like so and proceed with the repair. part is replaced, the card is partially assembled, and it looks like the fan does work. I'll go ahead and finish with the assembly, boot into Windows and see if everything is working as it should, and as you can see, it does. And just like that, with little to no effort at all, the problem was fixed, and hopefully you learned something today. Thank you for watching, have a blessed day. Goodbye.